Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is going to be part 2 of who's the best starter for Gen 1. Now I would ask you guys who do you think I'm going to pick, but you probably already know because you looked at the thumbnail. So as you guessed, Bulbasaur! Now I will let you know I did do a few resets on this, just trying to get a better Bulbasaur with some better IVs. Just to make it even easier. But I think compared to Charmander, this is going to be so much easier. Also it was very interesting to read all the comments from the uh, videos about who you guys think is the best starter. Majority of you seem to think Bulbasaur, so I'm really curious to see how he goes. Also, I just want to give a quick shout out to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all the um, comments, the subs, even just the views. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for that. I was blown away by how many views and that I got on these videos. I didn't expect that. So thank you guys once again from the bottom of my heart. Anyway, let's get into this video. How do we all think Bulbasaur's gonna go? I think we all know he's gonna do better than what Charmander did. But I'm really curious to see how much better he does. I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's do the playthrough. Uh, let's go. Even leading up to Brock, I noticed a huge difference between Charmander and Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur's at minimum battles right now. I just did the one battle in Viridian Forest, that's it. Whereas Charmander, we were like level 12 or something when we got to this point. So that's a huge difference already. So originally I was going to do the other trainer before Brock, but I thought, you know what, let's give it a go, see how we go at level 7. So because Bulbasaur doesn't learn Vine Weapon until level 13, I decided rather than try grind those levels which would waste more time, that we would try the good old fashioned uh, method of Leech Seed. This is by no means going to be the fastest uh, kill ever, but it'll definitely do the job. So we're just going to Leech Seed, and then we're going to Growl, so they pretty much do no damage at all. And then we're just going to slowly win. Throw a few tackles in when we can. And there we have it. Brock down. Not the most graceful win, but it will do. And I honestly think it saved us a lot of time compared to just grinding to get Vine Whip. Onto the train is leading up to Mount Moon. So I'll just make a quick comment here. They weren't as easy as I expected after Brock. They are a little bit challenging. Once we got to about 14 though, they started to get pretty easy as you can see here. Anyway, on to Cerulean. Oh, also while going through Mount Moon, we got um, Bulbasaur to evolve. So I thought I'd actually show that this time, given I didn't show it with uh, Charmander evolving into Charmeleon. So here it is. Oh yeah. We got an Ivysaur now. Yeah. Anyway, back to it now. Anyway, here we are at Misty's Gym. This should be pretty easy for us given the typing. I accidentally hit a leech seed here instead of vine whip, but that's okay. As you can see, we are destroying Staryu. Now onto Starmie. Should be another easy one. Yeah, not bad, not bad. The tackle does a little bit, but it's not too bad. It's not like it was with Charmander. My gosh. But yeah, we comfortably got this. Comfortably got this. Just gonna get one more attack in, aren't you, Starmie? There we go, Misty down. Now on to Rival 2. I'm curious if he'll be a little bit more challenging than what Misty was for us. We should find out. Here we go, on to Rival 2. As usual, he leads with Pidgeotto. This should be pretty good. The only thing we really gotta worry about here is uh, Sand Attack. It's just so annoying. I think we got good RNG here. We don't get a sand attack, which is nice. Yeah, there we go, no sand attack. That's a win. Now, Abra is going to be easy. I figured on Abra too, I might as well use Leech Seed and heal myself rather than um, waste the potion. I tell you though, I'm getting flashbacks from uh, Brock with this little fight here with Abra. There we go, fully healed and Abra down. Now yeah, we're just going to try to get this guy down as quick as we can. Unfortunately, we've got a Gen 1 miss there. Ah, oh, we only we three hit him. That's all right. Now the one I was concerned about. Please don't use Ember. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, well that turned out to be a very easy um, rival too. Well, there was nothing really to say about Nugget Bridge or leading up to Bill. It was pretty easy for us. Um, Bulbasaur seems to be getting better as we level. Um, it just seems to be getting faster and faster. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the time will be at the end. Anyway, now we're going to head towards the SSN. And leading up towards the next rival fight, we grab arguably one of the best TMs in the game, at least early on, Body Slam. Alright, let's see if this rival is going to be any more challenging. 
So we did get burnt on one of the last trainers. I was just battling just to try to get another rare candy. So that's why I've got the burn status at the moment. Oh, Pidgeotto down. Body Slam is carrying us right now. Can we one-shot the Kadabra? No. Oh, but we got the full Paralyze. That's good. Let's see how we go against the Charmeleon. Yeah. Ooh. All right, we're okay. Oh. Yeah, we're going to have to heal here. Ooh. Please don't use Ember here. Oh, nice. Got the Paralyze. And then we beat him. Nice. Wasn't the easiest rival fight, but we did it. When I say easy, it was just the charm healing that was a little bit hard, but that's no surprise given the typing. Anyway, let's go to Lieutenant Surge now. All right, how are we going to go against Surge? I really hope we don't die to Surge. Because these Pokemon are pretty weak. All right, let's use Vine Whip against Voltorb. Should hopefully one-shot him. No, not quite. That's fine. Two hit him. He didn't do any damage to us. Fantastic. All right, Pikachu should be a one-shot with Body Slam. Let's see. Yep. All right, now let's see how we go against the Raichu. Yeah, he can't do anything to us. But it was a three shot. That's okay. We still did it. We didn't lose to him. Fantastic. And level 29. We're not too far off evolving now into Venusaur. That's going to be good. And just another little clip here. I'm just chucking in. Um, we're about to evolve our Ivysaur into Venusaur. We're just battling the Hiker in the Rock Tunnel right now with the Graveler, which is kind of scary, but as you can see, we're destroying everything right now. Anyway, here we go. Now we're going to be very, very strong. Oh, yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. So while going through Rock Tunnel, I was thinking where I was going to go first. Uh, I decided I'll go battle Erika. Um, because of the Gen 1 AI, Erika's Pokemon keep trying to use Poison Powder on us because it thinks we're just Grass, but we're actually Grass Poison, so can't really do anything to us. Easy gym battle. Now we're going to go to the Rocket Hideout. All right, time for the big boss, Giovanni. We are going to destroy his Pokemon with Razor Leaf right now. Yeah. Another one down. Another one down. Can we one-shot Kanga's card? Yes. Easy Giovanni fight. Bulbasaur is really shaping up to be quite a good contender for being the best. I can tell you that now. Also, while we're here, just getting some um, calcium. Just to help it out a little. And also getting the water so we can get to Celadon. All right. Anyway, now we're going to head over to Lavender Town and fight our rival. Let's see. Will this be as easy as the last one? We'll find out. All right, looks like we're going to two-hit Pidgeotto. Good. No sand attack. Fantastic. No oh, body slam the execute. Goodbye. Razor Leaf one-shots him. Yes. He's going to be scary later. We should one-shot uh, Kadabra here. Yep. Easy. And now the one I'm worried about, Charmeleon. Oh, we nearly one-hit him. But thankfully, he can't do too much to us right now. That was an easy battle. Let's hope they continue to be that easy throughout this whole game. All right, now to decide where we're going to go next after we finish here. I think I might go to the Rocket Hideout. Anyway, I will see you at the Rocket Hideout. This one by far was one of the hardest rival battles we had. I had at least seven or eight um, failed attempts on this one. Um, I'll show them just after this real quick. Just a few of them. But there was quite a few attempts. And it was all either Alakazam or Charizard. But yeah, the Pidgeot, the Execute was, yeah, easy every time I got these guys down. They couldn't really do anything to me. So in the end, I had to set up like three sword dancers just to have a shot. There we go, Gyarados down. Now where the real fight begins. Before I show the ones where I actually beat him, I'll show you a couple of clips now where he destroyed me. Not once. Not twice. Not three times. But four. And then the next one, I literally died to Charizard. I was so sad. <laughs> so by no means was this an easy fight, but 
Anyway, here is the rest of it where I actually beat him. I one-shot him there. All right, now I remember being really nervous at this point, thinking, am I gonna do it? And then I one-shot him. I got lucky and got a one-shot. I don't know how long that actually took, but it felt like I was doing that fight over and over again forever. Well, now that that's done, hopefully it should be a bit of a breeze for a little bit. All right, now we're on to the second Giovanni fight. This was a hundred times easier. You don't know how good this felt for me to do this after battling Gary for so long there. Just one-shotting these Pokemon is just... Mm. There we go. And now he's Nino Queen. I'm pretty sure we one-shot the Nino Queen too. No, we didn't. Because we got a crit. There we go. Giovanni down. From here, I figured since we're in Saffron City, we might as well go do Sabrina. Get that over and done with. Hoping for another easy battle. All right, let's see. Here we go. All right, Kadabra, we should one-shot. I was confident with this, I didn't even bother to heal. I figured I'd set up my sword dances here on Mr. Mime. Yeah, now we're just one-shotting him. The only one that could be a challenge. There you go, we two hit him. That's exactly what I was looking for. And we learnt the move growth, which is going to be really helpful later on. Now it's time to head to Fuchsia and battle Koga. Alright, this should be interesting. I'm curious to see how we'll go against him. I'm only one I'm really concerned about is wheezing. Anyway, we're gonna set up our sword dancers here. Probably we'll go three, I think. Then we'll go body slam, one shot. Alright, how do we go against his mark here? We're gonna one shot him. Good, good. One shot. Another coughing. This should be another easy one. Yep, there you go. Now time for the wheezing. Can we one-shot the wheezing? No, we didn't, because we got a crit. A second crit, wow. That's so unlucky. Three crits, one time I didn't want a crit. I got three in a row on that. Talk about bad luck. Anyway, that's Koga down now. All right, now on to Blaine. This is the one gem I've had in the back of my mind the entire run. Just because I know that we don't um, fare up very well against this typing. But we've put it off as long as we can. And now it's time to do it. Hopefully we've prepared enough. So far so good. The body slams are working well. Got another level. That'll help. Rapidash. We should one shot. But yeah, we got... That was easy there. Two hit on the Arcanine. Very nice. That was easy. Much easier than I thought it would be. Alrighty, now onto the big boss man, Giovanni. Sorry, I just really like saying Giovanni. <laughs> this should be a very easy gym for us. This is probably the easiest we've had in quite a while. And that's saying a lot. Yep, there you go. Another one shot. Ooh, we got two hit Nido Queen. It's okay. What about Nido King? Can we one shot Nido King? Nope. I'm going to three hit him. That's not too bad. And this one should be a one hit KO. Yep. There we go. Giovanni down and on to Gary. All right. Here we go. Pidgeot. Get a sword dance. Ooh, critically hit us with that. All right. Now we're going to set up the rest of our sword dances and get to set up some growths too. Alright, Mega Drain is our new strategy going forward. There we go, he's down. Gyarados. Gonna use the Body Slam on Gyarados. Get a crit, unlucky crit. Alakazam. Ooh, Charizard. Now this one will be interesting. Oh, I had to heal here. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Another one. There we go. Got him down. But this was by no means an easy victory, that's for sure. I had at least three resets on this guy. All right, now I'll see you guys at the Elite Four. All right, so we changed our strategy up just a little bit for the Elite Four. I got a couple levels while in Victory Road so I could get Sleep Powder. Because I figured that would really be helpful for us. 
give us a good chance to like set up our moves, like growth and that sort of thing. As you can see, it's paying off for us right now. We just one shot a couple of our Pokemon. There's three down. Oh, we didn't one shot Jinx because of the crit, but we'll use Body Slam anyway. Let's see if we can one shot Lapras. We did, good. That's the first one down, on to the joke known as Bruno. All right, Bruno, I'm only just gonna do like one, I think. One growth. Nah, I did three. I did three just to be safe. I didn't want to have to do it again. But I didn't put him to sleep. Can we one-shot my champ? Oh, close. All right, that's... That's Bruno down. Blink and you missed it. <laughs> All right, now on to Agatha. As you can see, we're going with the same strategy. Putting Gengar to sleep. We're using the growths. All right, can we get a fourth off? Yes, fourth. Well, you woke up. We go for a fifth. Ah, oh, he put us to sleep. No. Come on, we need to wake up. Yes. All right, Mega Drain time. Oh, one health. One health. Oh, that was lucky. All right, he's withdrew him. All right, we're going to have to heal here. And then he sends him back out. All right, now we need to set up again. Because he removed all our stat bonuses. All right, there we go. Got him down. First one down. All right. Let's get rid of this guy. Oh, good, good. He didn't get to attack. I was worried he would use that ability again. All right. Haunter should be a one-shot. No. He missed. Good. All right. Haunter down. Arbok. Hopefully we can one-shot Arbok. Oh, no. He used Glare. That's unfortunate. Oh, we got him down. Hopefully this doesn't affect us. Oh. Got Gen 1 missed there. All right. Mega Drain. Try to put him to sleep. Didn't work again. Oh, how unlucky can we get? Come on, go to sleep. Sleep. Yes, he's finally asleep. Though, thinking about it now, if we just use Mega Drain instead of trying to put him to sleep, we probably would have won that a bit quicker. This is unfortunate. As you can see, we ran out of power points for the move. So I had to use a Elixir here. I really didn't want to use my Elixir there, but it should be fine. We still got a couple more. Anyway, now onto Lance. I must say, I'm not feeling too confident going into this fight, especially with Gyarados. Hopefully, we can get a few of these off right now. No, oh, he woke up. And he woke up again straight away. And Dragon Rage. Okay, he's asleep now. All right. Set up as much as we can here. He woke up. Mega Drain. Oh, so close. Oh, the chances of that. All right, these guys should hopefully be okay. They don't generally attack that much. They're not a one-shot, though. That's okay. All right, Aerodactyl. Please die straight away. Yes, that's the one we want to one-shot. We need to one-shot him. Hopefully, this guy except that I hit the wrong ability. Oh, this is going to take a while. Hopefully, he doesn't kill us. He's paralyzed, at least. There we go, he's down. Now onto the champion. They should all be pretty easy, except for Charizard. It's the only one I'm concerned about at this point. All right, let's put him to sleep. Good, now let's set up. Hopefully he stays asleep. It's one, it's two, three, four, five. And he woke up, oh, we'll go for a six. Be greedy, it paid off. All right, let's body slam, there we go. Alakazam. Body slam him. Goodbye. All right. Another easy one. Goodbye. All right. Hopefully we can one shot. Nope. And he put us to sleep. Oh, he woke up. Good, good. All right. Body slam. And he put us to sleep again. No. All right. Come on. One more. One more. There we go. All right. Gyarados, go to sleep. No, no, go to sleep, Gyarados. Good boy. All right. Ooh, nearly a one-shot. He's asleep, so that's good. We got this one, too. Now on to the one. Charizard. Come on, stay asleep. Body slam. He'll wake. Sleep. He keeps waking up. Oh, no. Okay. We'll go for it. Yes! All right, there we go. He's down. We've done it. 
We've beaten the game with only Bulbasaur. Now let's see what our time's like. I'm really curious to see this. Here we go. Level 62, so he was lower than what Charizard was. Three hours and 56 minutes. That's pretty good. I think Charmander's was like four hours 11. So that's what? Um, 15 minutes faster. So that's good. That's good. Oh, there we have it. That's Bulbasaur done. And that puts Bulbasaur in first place at the moment. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making this video. And I'm really looking forward to making the Squirtle one now. Just to see how we go and who is the best starter of Generation 1. So how do you guys think Squirtle will go? Do you think Squirtle will beat Bulbasaur's time? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Anyway, till then, have a great day or night wherever you are. And uh, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.